Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about a numerical which was based on the decay constant that is problem number 12 and now here basically we are going to talk about the problem number 13. So what is the question and what is the required thing that is we have to calculate? Let me find out in this topic. So friends here the question which has been given here is that is the half-life of the sulfur having an atomic mass of 35 is 87.8 days. So what percentage of the sulfur 35 sample remains after 180 days that is sample remains undecayed after 180 days. So here basically there are only few data that is been given in this question. So let us find out or let us extract what are the data that we could find out from this question first. So the first thing that has been given here is the half-life for the sulfur 35 is 87.8 day. That is, I could say that is the T half is 87.8 day. And they are asking what percentage of the sample that is for the sulfur remains undecayed after 180 day. That means the time is also been given here that is time is equals to 180 day in which we have to find out the difference between the change exactly. So here basically the percentage has been given here. That means suppose if we could consider the initial number of the nucleons that is n naught. Suppose if it is 100 and from that suppose if we have to estimate what is the value of n which has been undecayed or which has been left after 180 day. So here basically we have to calculate the value of n. So the same that is what we have did in our previous topic during the calculation of this kind of numerical. So let us first of all find out what is the decay constant. This is what we could get with the help of the t half. So now let's find it. To find the decay constant we have a formula that is lambda is equals to 0 0.693 divided by t half or half life. So here the half life which has been given is 87.8 days. So therefore I could write it over here as 0 0.693 divided by 87.8 days. So that means I could say the unit of the decay constant here it will be day inverse. So let us find out the answer here. So here we have got 7.892 into 10 raised to minus 3 day inverse that is the value of the decay constant which is what we have got. So based on this value, this value will help us to find out what is the amount of the radioactive element that has been left undecayed. So for that we have a formula that is Lambda is equals to that is decay constant is equals to 2.303 divided by T log to the base 10 of N naught divided by N. So here we have recently we have calculated the value of the decay constant and the time which has been given in which the duration occurs the change occurs is that is from N O to N it's given as 180 days. So let us substitute the value over here and let's see that what is the value of this fraction that is n naught divided by n we could get. So here we have got the value of the decay constant as 7.892 into 10 raised to minus 3 and this is the value that it is what we already have that is 2.303 divided by the time in which this change occurs here it is been given as in the above question it is given as 180 days. So and this is log to the base 10 of n naught divided by n. So here basically we have to find out the value of the log of n naught divided by n first. So therefore here I'm mentioning it. That means I'll multiply 7.892 into 10 raised to minus 3 with 180. The whole divided by 2.303. So let's see what is the answer we could get here. So we have got the value that is 0 0.616 for log to the base 10 n naught divided by n. But here we cannot find out the value of n if 
the log is present so therefore we have to make it into anti log so what we can do is we can shift this log on that side and let's see what is the anti log of 0.616 we could get so here we have got the anti log of 0.616 as 4.130 but this 4.130 is nothing but it is a value that is what we have got because of the ratio of n naught divided by m but we already have the value of n naught as 100 divided by n which is equals to 4.130 so what we can do is we can easily find out the value of n that is n is equals to 100 divided by 4.130 and let's see what is the value we will get here so we have got the value 24.21 so since they are asking the percentage of the sulfur that was been left undecayed but we have also assumed that is the initial number of the nucleon was 100 percent so after the decay what is left we have 24.21 percent of the sample which has been left undecayed so this is the answer and this is how basically we calculate it and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.